Good evening, and welcome to the Sanctuary of Psychos. Tonight, we will be reviewing a handful of horror movies from my personal collection. Some of them you may have heard of, while others are not so popular. For example, most horror fans are familiar with movies such as Devil's Rejects, Insidious, and Wrong Turn but have never heard of the 10 film horror pack which I find quite entertaining. Personally, I enjoy all types of horror with no particular preference so long as it quenches my bloody thirst for horror. Though, one movie on the table stands out to me not because of the bloody gore or should I say the lack thereof and not because it's just super scary or anything it's because of the storyline I enjoyed the story and I thought the movie was well put together I enjoyed the characters this movie is called the skeleton key perhaps you have heard of it and maybe even seen it for yourself if so, what are your thoughts? And if not, I highly recommend it if you're into voodoo and suspense. This next set of films are among the not so popular, yet I find them enjoyable to watch. And I recommend all six. I would call those my underrated and overlooked, especially Bones. I was skeptical about Snoop Dogg in horror, but I thought his character fit him in the movie. Overall, I was satisfied with his performance. Then we have The Caller, The Open Door. Both are worth watching. How do we overlook the Ward. You can never go wrong with John Carpenter film. And we have Jessica Biel in The Tall Man. These titles may not be in the top 10, but still, they are entertaining. Mustang Sally's Horror House. This is an interesting film, quite original. Picture I Spit on Your Grave meets Tales from the Crypt, Bordello of Blood. Minus the vampires, of course. Definitely entertaining, to say the least. Now, we move on to remakes. Not all remakes are good, but these four happen to be among my favorites. Highly recommended. Although, The Hills Have Eyes 2 has absolutely nothing to do with the original part two. So, I'm not sure if that would qualify as a remake. It was still a very good film. I was quite pleased with all four of these films, especially Dawn of the Dead. The next three films come from very popular franchises. Most of you have probably already seen them. So, I would ask, out of the three, which is your favorite and why? Mine would have to be Freddy vs. Jason. Two long-standing horror icons going head to head. Enough said.